Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ben. Uh, today we're going to talk about the team selections, but before we do that, we have to just quickly touch on the news that's broken about one o'clock on Friday about Stephen King, assistant coach at the Cats, who had a medical episode at the start of training today and was taken to hospital by paramedics. Um, the club is saying he's okay. Uh, they're saying it's not too serious, uh, but naturally we're all a bit concerned and our thoughts go out to Stephen King, the players, his family, anyone associated with the club at this time. So hopefully he's okay. More important than anything else right now. Uh, he was coming back recently from WA where he was uh, trying out for the West Coast Eagles assistant coach, not assistant coach, senior coach role, uh, role. So yeah, it's been a big week for him. Hopefully he's good to go. Um, gets back on his feet soon or if he needs to take the time that he does all right let's get on with selections though with that out of the way now ins for this week just one in just one in we all expected this man to come back tom stewart is back after missing the qualifying final against the port adelaide power uh, he's back as you would expect uh, but he's the only one. He's the only one. And who's coming out of this side? Uh, Oshin Mullen? No, no, not Oshin Mullen. Um, Zach Tui has come out, unfortunately, of this side. Played uh, maybe a quarter and a bit, maybe a quarter as the sub in the qualifying final and uh, didn't play the week before that because of the pre-final bye. Uh, hasn't played in two weeks. So, yeah, he's played a quarter in about 28 days. Still not good enough to get picked. It's a bit of a shame. My heart breaks for Tui, unfortunately. Uh, but Oshin Mullen uh, is in the side still. So uh, we'll come to that in a minute. We'll come to the we'll come to the players who have held their spots because there's a few players that you could argue uh, maybe could have made way. There's a few players uh, on the outside that didn't get a game, didn't get named. Um, so on the bench, we've got Lawson Humphreys, Oshin Mullen, Brad Close, Tanner Bruin, and Mitch Duncan. Now, the sub for this game will be chosen from those five. Uh, I might just hold on my thoughts on that just for the time being. I will come back to that. Um, but yes, those five players have currently been named on the interchange bench. The emergencies for this game, Zach Tui, you would expect. Uh, if he's not in the side, he's definitely going to be an emergency. The big one, uh, Sam DeConning. Where is he? The perfect player for uh, Joe Danaher, but no, not chosen. Well, at least at this stage, anyway, not chosen in the final team of 23. Uh, the other emergency is Ted Closey, which was a, it's a bit of a pat on the back for Ted Closey. Uh, get a bit of respect. He, I doubt he comes in if there's a late change, but you never know. Um, but to be named on the emergencies is a good sign for him uh, that the coaches like what they're seeing from him. So that's great. So... Who's held their spot? Now, I've already mentioned Oshin Mullen. You know, he was the one where a lot of Cats fans were thinking maybe he would make way uh, for Tom Stewart. Uh, that hasn't happened. That was Zach, uh, Zach Tui made way. But Oshin Mullen holds his spot, plays a second final. He played pretty well, though. He did play pretty well against Port Adelaide, so we've got to give him his credit uh, where it's due. So I'm hopeful he'll have a big game. I would like to see, now that he's in the side, I actually want to see him start. I want to see him start on the ground, or at least on the bench. I don't want him in the sub vest. Sub vest. If you're going to go with Oshin Mullen, um, you're giving him a role, and you're and you're getting him in the cycle for speed and power. Um, you know, he's not always going to make the right decisions. He's not always going to use the ball the way you want him to. Uh, but he's there for that reason, clearly. So um, back yourself in, coaches. Uh, pick if you're going to pick him, um, put him on the ground and uh, roll that dice. We'll see how we go. Uh, who else? Who else has helped? Mitch Duncan was one that I thought might be on the way out. Maybe. Maybe. I thought he might have been pushed. Um, but, yeah, Tui got pushed. So, don't know. Clearly, Mitch Duncan's one of the better ball users at the club for the most part. Uh, so, he's held his spot. Jed Buse has held his spot. The Charlie Cameron matchup generally suits a Jed Buse type of player. So, happy for Jed. Uh, clearly, the club wasn't going to drop him after putting him in front of the, the press during the week. Uh, he had a big smile on his face from ear to ear, talking about how he's so happy to be in the side. There's no way you're going to drop him uh, after putting him through that. Uh, and Shannon Neal was the other one um, that's held his spot. Uh, a lot of talk through the week, probably with all, for the last eight weeks, really. Uh, Will Hawkins come back into this side? So uh, 
they're saying he's pretty much okay, Tom Hawkins, but not enough to um, move Shannon Neal out of the way, which I, as I've said on this show a few times, I think that's probably the right decision at this point in time. Uh, but what does it mean for Tom Hawkins? Uh, does that mean does that mean he still gets a look at, at a grand final? I know the coaches have said, Chris Scott has said, we're not ruling it out. Uh, of course you don't rule it out because, you know, Jezza or Shannon Neal might get an injury. Um, but seriously, are you going to play three tolls in a grand final? Ooh, that's a big risk if you did that. Uh, maybe if it's a bright sunny day, 25 degrees, 26 degrees, uh, perfect conditions for tolls, um, maybe you'd think about it. Uh, but we haven't, I don't know, I don't think that's going to happen. So, And I don't think Tom's going to push any of those out. One of them, it's not going to be Jezza. Jezza could have the worst game of his career and he still gets picked uh, if we win and make it through to the granny. But if Shannon Neal has a stinker, uh, possibly, possibly Tom Hawkins comes in. I still think they'd back in uh, both of those two talls uh, before they look at uh, Tom Hawkins, which is a really sad uh, situation for Tom to be in. Um, hopefully the club's wrapping their arms around him at the moment. Uh, he's not the only one, though. There, there are others that aren't, aren't getting a game that probably could uh, right now. All right, so the other ones that are missing, Sam DeConning. Uh, we talked about this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is he in, is he injured? Is there, is there more to this than we know? It's just that the coaches just don't want to make a change right now. There's too many. Everything's going right. You don't want to upset the apple cart too much. Just let it keep – just let the things go. You know, the back line's going well. Zach Guthrie's playing well. Paul Jasney's playing well. Uh, Jack Henry's found some form. Tom Stewart comes back. You bring in two defenders when, you def when your defensive lines are operating really well. Probably not. So I feel like that was probably a really hard decision, unless there's more to it, as I said. Unless unless he's not quite right, uh, we might find out at the end of the year that he uh, his knees is not quite there or uh, there's something else going wrong that we just didn't know about. He might have been able to play at an absolute pinch if we needed him to, but um, he wasn't travelling at 100%. So do you want to take in a bloke at 95 to 90%? Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, so, but Cam Guthrie's the other one. Played the VFL game a few weeks back. Uh, looked pretty good in that game. Looked okay. Didn't set the world on fire first game back, but did what he could. But he hasn't had a – he didn't get a look as well, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately for Tom Hawkins, Sam DeConning, and Cam Guthrie, yeah, it's not to be. At least at this stage anyway. Uh, there's likely to be an injury. I mean, we haven't – we've done pretty well so far with injuries, but, you know – most games that go by, there's either a concussion or a or some kind of collision injury or a hamstring tear or something like that. Uh, and you know what happened last time around when Max Holmes had a, had felt his hamstring and then Chris Scott said, no, 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 uh, you're not playing grand final. So if any player sort of goes to the bench and starts gesturing towards a, a muscle group, uh, then you're, you're probably not expecting to see them uh, next week. Uh, some players that we can't really consider at the moment, at least. Uh, well, definitely not for the rest of the year. They've already been ruled out. Is Toby Conway, who was absolutely mauled uh, by Oscar McInerney um, earlier in the year. Um, but, yeah, McInerney got injured, and then Toby Conway had a bit of fun when McInerney went off the ground. Uh, Mark O'Connor normally does a job on Lockie Neal. He won't be there either. Gary Rowan, uh, half his head's fallen off. That's uh, stitched it back on. He was at training somehow. Uh, got featured on ESPN the other day, uh, but he, they're saying he's right to go. He's just in concussion protocols, but in terms of the injury itself uh, to his skull, uh, that'll be fine. Um, so, you know, I still think it'll be one of those things. He won't get picked regardless, even if, when he comes out of concussion. If he's if he's cleared, I, I wouldn't be playing him at this point in time. Um, I think you'd find it hard to squeeze him in anyway. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. So, all right, who's the likely sub? So I'll go back to the bench again. You've got Lawson Humphreys, Oshin Mullen, Brad Close, Tanner Bruin, Mitch Duncan. Who do we want to be the sub for this one? Assuming there are no late changes, and I'll I'll come to that before I wrap this one up. But um, if there are no late changes, I think, by me, I think Mitch Duncan. I think um, if Mitch Duncan's the sub this week, we make the grand final. I think you give him a full game next week. Um, I don't think... We're going to be able to get Mitch Duncan to play two grueling finals back or back to back without a week off. So I think if anything, um, I think he's the man. I, I just I said I just want Oshin Mullen. If, if you're going to go with him, I think you just got to go with him the whole game. Uh, that's just my gut feel. I know others will disagree with that, but that's just how I see it. Lawson Humphreys clearly is is um, 
is in the first 22, if not starting on the ground. Who cares if you're on the ground or on the bench when the siren, when the ball is bounced? It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but um, you'd imagine he'd be uh, in that first 22 without an issue there. Brad Close, 100%. Tanner Bruin, I uh, can't see him not. I can't see him being the sub. So for me, it's probably out of Oshin Mullen and Mitch Duncan. It'll be depending on how the coaches want to go with it. I think they'll I think they'll back in Oshin Mullen. And to me, it's Mitch Duncan is the sub for the preliminary final. And we'll see what happens if we get through, if he's the sub again or if he comes on or if he holds his spot. So, all right, so if there is a late change, all right, let's not beat around the bush. If there's a late change, surely it's Sam DeConning that comes in at this point in time. Surely it's not. Uh, who are the emergencies? Zach Tui, Ted Closey, uh, Sam DeConning. Uh, it's got to be Sam DeConning, really, doesn't it? Uh, we're playing Ducks and Drakes a little bit here. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. I'd... Yeah, I, I still don't. I still think it's the right decision not to pick him. Um, but if the intent, if they have picked him and they've named a different team, uh, well, if their intention is to play him and they've named a different team, then I think it's, yeah, I think he, it would make sense for Sam DeConning to play. Um, but I'm hoping that the team that's named is the team that runs out on, on Saturday Twilight. I think hopefully that's the way it goes. But anyway, that's just my thoughts, people. Uh, keen to know what you think. Uh, do you agree, disagree with with any of that? Let me know. Um, are you feeling confident about the preliminary final? Uh, it's only a day and a bit away now. We're getting very close. Are you going to the game? I'm keen to know if you're going to the game. Uh, say hi if you see us there. I'll be there with, uh, with my wife and uh, three kids. We'll be there uh, up on level four somewhere. I can't remember where. Uh, <laughs> behind the goals, I think. So. It's somewhere where we are anyway. But if you see us walking around, uh, let's all celebrate, Cats fans. Let's get all, Let's get along down to Barung Mar at 4 o'clock or a little bit before 4 o'clock and march to the G together. Uh, let's let's just make this a big win and uh, off to another grand final. Here we come, Cats fans. Here we come. I'll see you on the next one. See you, everyone. Take care. Bye.